Well, good morning and welcome to Daily Prayer. Today is Tuesday the 12th of October. I do hope that you're well. Um, and uh, do comment, do let me know you're here if you'd like to. As always, we use the form of prayer written by the Reverend David Adam in his book, The Rhythm of Life. We we'll use one of today's Bible readings and a reflection on that reading. On a Tuesday, the theme for prayer is incarnation. And so we pray together. Blessed are you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, yet born of the Virgin Mary. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Holy God, holy and mighty one, holy and strong one, abide in us. Holy God, holy and incarnate one, holy and indwelling one, abide in us. Holy God, holy and life-giving one, holy and guiding one, abide in us. And today's psalm is Psalm 121. My help comes from the Lord. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. My help comes from the Lord. And today's Bible reading carries on in John's Gospel, and it's John chapter 13, beginning at verse 12. Jesus says, I'm not referring to all of you. I know those I have chosen. But this is to fulfil this passage of scripture. He who shared my bread has turned against me. I'm telling you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am who I am. Very truly, I tell you, whoever accepts anyone who I send accepts me. And whoever accepts me accepts the one who sent me. After he'd said this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified, Very truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another in, at a loss to know what, which of them he meant. One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter motioned to this disciple and said, Ask him which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. And then dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, What you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. Since Judas had charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival, or give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out, and it was night. So let me read a reflection on that passage. This week the reflections are written by the Reverend Anna Matthews. Having washed his disciples' feet, Jesus tells them they must wash one another's feet. Their actions and attitudes towards each other are to be a sign of his love. His followers are to be a community shaped by hospitality and humility, where vulnerability is met with tenderness, where the messiness and brokenness of our lives is not hidden, but brought to Christ for healing, where we seek and serve Christ in each other, and in each other let him serve us. This, says Jesus, is the path of blessing or beatitude. It's not simply that serving others blesses them, it blesses us too, by drawing us to him and making us sharers in this divine humility. This is what God's love looks like as it takes on flesh in the lives of Jesus' disciples. It's not striving for the highest place or honour or achievement or influence that will bring you close to the presence of God, but loving service through which others will encounter the hospitality of God. Foot washing is practical and bodily. It's hands and knees stuff, lugging bowls and jugs and towels around to touch and wash another as a sign of God's love. What might this look like in your life? Who can you serve and draw into the hospitality of God's love? Questions for us to ponder today. And we pray, beginning with the collect for this week. Faithful Lord, whose steadfast love never ceases and whose mercies never come to an end, grant us the grace to trust you 
and to receive the gifts of your love new every morning in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we continue in prayer. That the coming of Christ may disperse all darkness, that the birth of Christ may hallow all life, that the love of Christ may be in every heart, Lord have mercy. That the peace of Christ may fill the world, that the descent of Christ may uplift all peoples, that the humility of Christ may teach us gentleness, Christ have mercy. That the presence of Christ may be within us, that the power of Christ may be upon us, that the spirit of Christ may fill us, Lord have mercy. And so we pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we pray to close. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of Mary, born into a human family, let us know you in our homes. Bless our families and friends, our neighbours and all your people. Grant that we may rejoice that you are made flesh and dwell among us. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So may the Father who has shown his love for us be with us. May the Son who's come to be among us be with us. May the Spirit who fills the whole world be with us. May the Holy Three be within and without us, now and evermore. Amen. So thank you for joining me for prayer today. I hope you have a great day and perhaps you'll be able to join me again tomorrow at 9.45. Until then, take care. Bye bye.